Hello everyone and welcome to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. My name is Mary, also known as Makeup and Mary, and today we're going to be doing a how to cut crease, beginner friendly and daytime appropriate tutorial. Okay? Did you get all that? Cut creases are so, so popular right now, whether you like a more natural cut crease or a really dramatic like Instagram-y cut crease. Everyone loves a cut crease. I love cut creases because it gives your eye that three-dimensional look. But sometimes people have trouble cutting their crease because everyone's eye shape is different. For me personally, I struggle with cutting my crease. I have to bring up my cut crease pretty high. So today I'm going to be telling you guys some tips and tricks on how I achieve that. As I said, today's video is going to be beginner friendly. So I did a simple cut crease that's not going to be too much work. That's quite easy to follow. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get in to this look. As you guys can see, I have already done my brows because it's just quicker and easier to do them off camera and that is not what today's video is about. I've also carved out my eyebrows and placed a thin layer of concealer over my lid. I prefer to use concealer for my eyeshadow base. I also don't set my concealer, which is a little tip as well. If you have trouble getting good pigmentation from certain eyeshadows or if you're having problems with eyeshadow blending seamlessly, I find a nice tacky base to do the job. Today I'll be going in with the City Mini Palette. This one here is called Mad About Town. So when you're doing a cut crease, you always want to pop your crease color initially above the crease slightly. So as you can see, when I'm looking forward, there's my crease right there. I like to place the color just above the socket of my eye. I'm going to begin with this shade right here and I'm going to start placing that color just above the socket of my eye. I also typically like to bring the initial crease color in towards the bridge of the nose. And I'm just gonna do circular motions to make sure everything is nice and blended. Then if I feel like any eyeshadow needs to be built up, I will go in with a second layer. Again, circular motions to make sure everything is seamless. Then I'm gonna go in with this matte brown right here. And we're pretty much going to go in the same area, but I'm going to bring it a little lower on the corner here and then straight into where the crease is. The perfect thing about cut creases, what I love about them the most, is you can be super kind of messy and let eyeshadow fall onto your lid space because you're going to go in and clean it up anyway with a concealer or whatever you're using to cut your crease with. So you can kind of be sloppy with this area here. I do want to deepen up the corners just a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this chocolate kind of brown shade. This is giving me so many feels. So I'm just placing that on the outer corner of my eye. I like to place down the pigment first and then slightly blend in the crease. We don't want to take this shade up too high. This is just going to be slightly above where our cut crease is. So now it's time to cut the crease and I'll be using the Maybelline Master Conceal. This is in the color medium. And what I like to do is take some on the back of my hand and I like to use a flat shader brush. This still has a little bit of concealer left over from carving out my eyebrows, but something that has more of a round shape is amazing for this. And where my crease is in my eye, that is where I'm gonna place it first. I'm just gonna start dragging it down, getting it really close to the lash line. And I'm gonna bring it pretty much to the outer corner, but not all the way. And then I learned this from a, another YouTuber. If you have trouble um, defining your crease or figuring out where to cut your crease, you put the concealer on and then you look up. And then when you look down, that is where you cut your crease. Because it is a daytime look, I'm not stressed if it's not too cut, but I still want the same effect. So I'm just gonna take a deeper shade, the Mad About Town palette and kind of blend the outer corner of the concealer. I'm gonna take one of the shimmers from the City Mini palette called Chill Brunch Neutrals. I'm really feeling this champagne shade here. I'm gonna bring it up to 
where we cut the crease. I'm just going to slightly go over the dark shades. I'm actually going to bring that darker burgundy shade even more, just slightly above the crease. I'm going to coat my lashes now and I'm going to be using this mascara right here. This is the Lash Sensational from Maybelline. This is one of my favourites. I haven't used it in a while though. Wiggle my way up. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. I'm just going to pop some eyelashes on because I am one of those girls that cannot live without eyelashes. I just feel like they complete a look. If you enjoyed this how-to, beginner-friendly, daytime-esque cut crease tutorial, then please give this video a big thumbs up or even share it on your social media pages. Don't forget to come on over and subscribe to the Maybelline Makeup Loft. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, there is a comment box down below this video. When this video goes live, I'll be down there chatting to you guys. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are, and I'll see you later on. Bye.